everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is alicia i'm a wife i'm a mom i'm a pre-nursing student and i'm just here sharing my journey because why not so i'm gonna do like a little birthday weekend vlog today is monday not monday what it's not monday it's thursday oh my gosh july 27th and tomorrow july 28th is my 23rd birthday on saturday we're going to an NF concert. I'm so excited. So I kind of wanted to go ahead and like start a little vlog today because we're leaving tomorrow. Um, I was thinking about going and trying to look for like little accessories for like an outfit or maybe a pair of shoes or something like that. Um, also, all my classes are over. Um, I finished all three of my summer classes at my current university. I got three A's, which was amazing. I was super happy about it. I have a few things to, I guess, update or say. So I ended up applying to nursing school out on a whim. I took my HESI. For the HESI, I got an 81, but it's because I got like a 52 on biology, okay? because I haven't taken biology since high school. I haven't taken micro or anything yet. So I got a 92 in anatomy um, and then I got an 86 in vocab and I got an 86 in reading comprehension and then I got like that 52. Yeah, I got that 52 in biology. But the good thing about Chamberlain is since they are so very, very expensive, they kind of give pretty much everyone a chance to get into their program. It's a three-year BSN program. Um, the fastest that you can finish their program is two years and four months um, if you take majority of your prerequisites, which I have. The only prerequisites I have not taken are micro and human development. Yeah, micro and human development. I think there might be one more but they have like political science, they have all the anatomies, they have all that stuff in their degree program. So since I've taken all of that, I can finish in two years and four months, which is really good. And it's like a consistent program. They do 16 week semesters, but eight week sessions, right? But it's constant. And the only break that you get is a two week break for the holidays in December and then you get a one week spring break, which is okay with me because like I said, like that's two years and four months, I'll have a bachelor's, I'm good girl. Okay, I'm happy about that. So after talking to my admission advisor and everything, I haven't gotten my official acceptance from the committee, but he said, you know, you're looking really, really good. My HESI score is really good um, because they only require a 72, you know, and even if you don't pass the HESI, you can still get in like it's not it's not like it's not like all the other nursing schools that are just like oh my gosh if you don't have a 4.0 and a 100 on your freaking HESI or your T's you can't get in because you're not the best of the best you know they're more they're like very forgiving they say that they have a holistic way of acceptance which I love and I I appreciate that because there are people there are people out here that do not have the luxury of only focusing on school 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 me personally, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I have things to worry about, I work. So they're not one of those nursing schools that are like, don't work. You have to be here all day long, Monday through Friday. Your clinicals are on the weekends, night nice shift. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like that. They have an evening and weekend option and they have a daytime option. Um, you can take some of your classes online. You can test out of some of your classes. It's, It just sounds like it's really good for a student that's not the average student because a lot of people are fresh out of high school, going into college and they're living on campus or they live with their parents. They don't have to work. So like I said, I don't have that luxury. Maybe some of you guys don't have that luxury. So you know, because God knew how much I wanted it um, for nursing school. He knew. Okay, he knew. I've been praying and praying and praying, y'all, for literally two years. So, I'm very, very excited. Um, I should be hearing back 
Monday or Tuesday next week um, with an official acceptance letter. So, you know, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm just so excited. Like, I'm so excited and I feel so grateful for the opportunity and I just feel so good. Back to my little birthday weekend because this was supposed to just be an intro, but I'm just talking, 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 girl. Right now, I am at the gym uh, and I'm going to go in. I'm going to get my little workout in. And then I'm going to go home and shower. And then I'm probably just going to go to like, I don't know, I might come to the mall or I might go to Tinker Outlets to see if I can find like a really cute pair of shoes because I know what I want to wear. But this is also me losing my concert virginity, y'all. I've never been to a concert before, so I'm like so hyped. Like you guys have no idea. I am so excited. All right. Hello, guys. Hello, y'all. I got cut off because my phone overheated because I was sitting in my car with it off and the sun blazing on my phone. But I just finished my workout. It was like an hour long. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't too much. It was a little back and buys, you know. Um, so I finished my workout and now I am on my way home so that I can eat my lunch and shower. Yeah, so I'm gonna catch you guys when I get home. Um, and we'll do all the stuff right now it is 10 59 so it is 11 a.m um and yeah all right so i'm back home now and i'm about to make not make i'm gonna heat up my lunch um because i'm literally starving it's um it's 11 16 right now so it's just some um, Salmon and rice, jasmine rice, and broccoli. Um, I like to make this like, so sorry if that's loud, but I like to make this sauce to go on top of my salmon because it's so good, okay? If you are scared of calories, don't make the sauce. I'm not scared of calories. So, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm it. It's so good. It's kind of like a copycat, like yum yum sauce in a way. I made it like a really long time ago because I didn't have any yum yum sauce and I was like, oh, I can just make it. But it's not exactly the same, but it's like similar. So anyways, I take some Duke's mayonnaise and some ketchup. I do some garlic powder and some paprika. And then I do one spoonful of white sugar. Like I said, if you're scared of calories, don't eat it. But I love it. And I love to put it on top of salmon because it tastes so good. But this is what it looks like when it's all, if it'll focus, when it's all mixed up. It's so good. Like that, I put it on top and it's so good. I love it. But yeah, so I am going to eat this and like watch some TV or something, maybe. Or read my book i haven't decided maybe watch a youtube video i think i'm gonna watch a youtube video and eat my lunch and i will see you guys after okay so hello right now it is 102 um it's 102 p.m i literally just my husband ended up coming home and we were talking for a little bit um i was gonna put some like braids in my hair like some quick um like jumbo rubber band braids like because those are like something that I do whenever I want something different for my hair but I don't want to do too much but I have decided that I'm going to do a silk press on myself I'm going to straighten my hair myself um and the reason that this is such a big milestone for me is because I have not straightened my hair since I did my first big chop when I was a junior in high school. Um, that was 2017. Oh my gosh, that was six years ago. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, <laughs> where has the time gone? That was six years ago. I have not had my hair straight, straightened, blow dried, nothing. Blow dried straight, nothing in six years. Actually, it's a little over six years because I did that. I did my first big chop in January. It was 
like it was January of 2017. I am right now on my way to Ulta. Um, I watched a video on um, how, you know, people with my kind of hair, I have like, I have like three B curls, I think. Like I'm not 100% familiar with like the curl like patterns. And so I was watching like some videos and stuff um, and I looked at all the products and stuff that I need to get because I really don't want to damage my hair because I big chopped it in 2017 when I was a junior because I had heat damage. I used to straighten my hair all the time. I literally was straightening my hair since middle school, since I was, I don't even know, was it sixth grade? I don't think I knew how to straighten my hair when I was in sixth grade. But my mom used to do it for me. My mom used to straighten my hair because she didn't know how to handle curly hair because my mom is Caucasian, if you guys did not know that. And then I learned how to do it myself in seventh grade. So I just had been straightening it and straightening it and straightening it. Um, and I never stopped. I kept doing it. Um, so I got to a point in 2017 where I was like, I'm done with this. So I went to the hair salon and I said, I just was like, cut it off. Cut it all off. Um, I had stopped. I had stopped straightening it for maybe like two months. And I would wear it down. It looks crazy. Like, if I had pictures, I would insert pictures. It looked crazy because it was so heat damaged. But I stopped straightening it for like a month or two because I knew I was gonna cut it off and I wanted to have some new growth because I didn't want to like freaking buzz my head because it was heat damaged from the roots to the ends, girl. It was so bad. And so I stopped and I went and I got a big chop and I cut it off and I loved it. I had, at first I cried my eyes out because I don't know if it's the same for everyone but I feel like especially us being girls with curly hair our hair is so it's such a huge part of your identity and your appearance so whenever you do such a drastic change it's just like oh my gosh like it's like it's like you're a different person or like you have to get to know yourself again it's like weird or at least that's what I think if you think differently, that's okay. But I cried, but then it really grew on me and I loved it. I loved having short hair, but then it grew out because I wasn't doing anything to it. I was being very consistent with, um, I was washing it. I would leave the conditioner in and just let it be. And that was it. And then I ended up moving, right? So I was homeschooled. So I didn't have to do anything really to my hair because I was always at home. And so I would just leave conditioner in it. I would leave deep conditioners in it. I would oil my scalp. I always had on a bonnet. And my hair just grew and grew and grew and grew and grew like so freaking much. I don't know why I'm telling you guys the whole backstory of my hair, but it's like a 25 minute drive to Ulta, so. Um, but yeah, it just kept growing up until I went off to the army. My hair eventually, cause it was really, really short, like right here. And then eventually it got to the point where I could put my hair in like a military bun like when i went to basic training and i didn't even notice how long it got until i tried putting my hair in a bun before i went to boot camp and it was crazy it's just like it grew like nobody's business y'all it was like down here like it was so long and it was beautiful and it was so healthy and it was so pretty the curls were beautiful because they were fresh curls all my hair was cut off so it it was just growing freshly from my scalp and it was just amazing my hair stayed that way for a long time um, pretty healthy and then randomly after I had my daughter I decided to bleach my hair and I got a balayage ruined my curl pattern my hair broke off it was absolutely disgusting so that's why I big chopped my hair in yeah in 2021 so I got it I got a balayage in 2020 and in 2021, January, I big chopped it all because I was like, or was that 2022? No, that was 2022, I lied because it's 23 right now. Okay, scratch that. 2022, I big chopped my hair because in 2021 for my birthday, that's when I got the balayage. And after having the balayage and she went straight from my hair, because my hair is very, very dark brown, very dark brown, very dark. And it went to, a very very blonde color like she completely stripped my hair it was the worst experience of my life it was so brittle it was so like 
rough. It was terrible. Um, but I kept it because I was like, I don't want to cut my hair again. You know, I was like, oh, I can take care of it or whatever. But since I had to keep putting my hair in a military bun, it freaking just kept breaking off. My hair was all broken off all around the edges. It was uneven. It was disgusting. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to cut it off. So I cut it all off and that's where we are. That's how we are here now. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to straighten it. And I'm really really excited because I feel like I'm gonna have a really good technique because back in the day when I was straightening my hair I wasn't using heat protectant I was using oils I was using the highest heat I wasn't properly washing my hair before there was just so many things that I did wrong and now I'm like well if I can just do it correctly and I can get the right products and I can protect my hair excuse me um, get it as straight as I can with indirect heat that would be the best thing for me and so now I'm gonna try it and I'm super excited so we are gonna go to Ulta I'm gonna take you with me girl and we're gonna see what I can find and see because I have a whole list of stuff I gotta pick out a straightener because I don't have one um, I have a blow dryer I have like I got a new like the new shark blow dryer like the diffuser so it also comes with like the straightening like blowout part so I'm super excited but yeah so I will talk to you guys whenever we get to Ulta. Uh, I'm about to keep listening to some NF music so I can learn some more lyrics for my concert on Saturday. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys when we get to Ulta. All right, so I just got out of Ulta. Obviously, it's raining, okay? I was gonna try to like, you know, record and everything while I was in there, but there was like a lot of people in there for some crazy reason. So, no, but this is, I got everything that I think I'm gonna need. The most important thing I got is a straightener. I got a brush, but it has like these little bristles. This is not related to me straightening my hair, but I was watching a couple of videos and this is the Rizzo's Curls uh, Curl Defining Cream. And it looks like it works for girls that have kind of like the same hair as me because like I said I have like I think 3B curls 3A 3B whatever so I got the not a country accident not the but this is the way detox shampoo to like clean everything out so I'm going to use a double shampoo method I'm going to use a detox shampoo and then I'm going to use a moisturizing shampoo let's see um the, it's a 10 miracle leave-in product smells oh my gosh it smells so good but I used to use it like way back in the day I got like a sample and I made that sample stretch girl and I really liked it I got I got it discounted because it was opened um and it was like kind of used a little bit but this is a luminous reflex oil it's like a light styling oil like serum I got some hairspray this is just some chi hairspray anti-humidity and it's heat protected. This chi, it also has a two ounce like iron guard heat protected. It says it like right here on the corner. And then these are not related to my hair, but since I am going to a concert, I got like two, three little things. So the In Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Um, because I do want to do a little bit of makeup. I don't normally wear makeup, but I want to wear a little bit of makeup. Yeah, it just looks like, I don't know if you guys wear makeup, but it just looks like that. And I'm going to try it out, obviously, before the time. And it has a little spoolie. Some Morphe setting spray. And then I just got a little sample size, not sample size, but travel size. Clinique take the day off bomb just because of, I don't like I said I don't wear makeup very often so I want to make sure that I'm cleaning it all off when I do wear it and that's it so now I am about to go over to the mall and get me a little shoes or whatever so I might take you guys with me now I'm going to but am I going to record while I'm inside somewhere I don't know all right so I'm back home now I just let them all. So I found this. They're the specific Converse I was looking for. I have big feet, okay? I wear a size 10 because I'm kind of tall, 5'8". But these are the Converse 
that I got. And I got just a white um, like tank top. And my daughter broke my sunglasses, the ones that I like to put on my head, like for styling purposes. So I just bought a cheap $5 pair. So right now I have to go and meet somebody to sell something for Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna go pick up my baby from daycare. And then when we get back, I plan to start doing my hair cause like it's kind of dirty. It has like gel and everything in my hair. I have a whole bunch of products. So I'm gonna use that detox shampoo. We're gonna clean our hair. We're gonna condition it. We're gonna do all the fun stuff. And I'm so excited to see how it's gonna look. So yeah, but I'll catch up with you guys later because I'm gonna go and do that stuff. So, yeah. Finally arrived and nobody's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Girl, you're my angel, you're my darling angel. Then you're like a lead player, you clock, be racist, pop a quick, eat angel. The definition of wreck, if you look into my, comes out the most when I pick them in the vulnerable place. Made a lot of mistakes, I wish I knew how to embrace when I'm afraid. Listen and I push you away, but no matter the case, I'ma do whatever it takes. Either both break down, two nights in a row, we both break down, two nights in a row, we both break down, two nights in a row, we both break down, two nights in a row. And you say you hate me, and we go to bed angry. I know everything will be alright. I'll be here waiting. I promise I'm changing. Say, I just need. To